Hi there, I'm Henry and I'm 23 from New Zealand. Um, I came over here to study pharmacy as my undergraduate at the University of Sydney. Um, after practicing for one year, I'm now doing my Masters of Management at the Sydney University Business School. Yeah, so this is the quadrangle, I guess that's um, Sydney Uni's most memorable, I guess, landmark at the university. Um, this is the original university in Australia, so it's got a really nice kind of mixture of these massive sandstone buildings, as well as really nice brand new modern buildings, um, which actually kind of projects and also um, represents how society is in Australia and how it's always developing and upskilling as well, I guess. So this is the Abercrombie Business School and it's um, a pretty brand new kind of building built in 2016. It's got heaps of really cool seminar rooms, um, computer labs that the whole business faculty will get to use. Um, yeah, it's got basically a lot of innovative kind of structures inside as well to help collaboration between the different faculties. And all in all, I just think it's a really, really cool place to come study. Um, I guess growing up in New Zealand um, around people who are always like wanting to go overseas. Um, I saw Sydney, Australia as kind of the next logical choice um, in terms of opportunities, um, the diversity in culture, um, networks, meeting more people and just doing different things. The two main things that have really helped me fit into Sydney is firstly the societies that they have with all the different university courses. Um, back in my undergrad in pharmacy I actually was lucky enough to be the president of the student society and basically I made so many friends there. I learned you know how to run events, I had social events, sporting stuff and everything that little helps you kind of fit in and make friends for the future as well as network as well. As I said before, I, um, I have an undergraduate in pharmacy and I practiced for a year, but I realised, I guess, um, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, I wanted to learn skills that pharmacists didn't normally have, and I came across the Masters of Management. So the course itself is only one year, and it gives you a really good overview into <coughs> stuff like finance, uh, accounting, strategy, um, project management, and has a couple of really, like I guess, extraordinary different, different kind of courses as well, such as business in China. So I'm heading over to China next week for a 12-day immersive course where we study with a couple of uni unis over there, as well as lots of site visits to different companies to really learn about how business is done in China and basically the cultural differences and how we can adapt our own experiences there in the future. As a registered pharmacist, a lot of people are like, you know, this is it. And that's what I kind of saw coming. Um, you know, it's I really enjoy the profession. I really like being able to help people and visually see it. However, doing this course, it's actually allowed me to branch out and learn different skills and network with different firms um, that I definitely wouldn't have done before. It teaches you lots of things, like you get to basically network with a lot of service firms, such as your Deloitte, your PwC, some of the banks, so NAB, National Australia Bank, um, Commonwealth Bank, or consulting firms such as McKinsey's and stuff like that. And I've actually been lucky enough to um, get a job at National Australia Bank um, starting in February. I mean, another really cool part of this course and the MBA course is that you get to use the state-of-the-art facility, smack bang in the middle of the CBD next to really, really big buildings and essentially it kind of gives you a bit of a vibe and puts you in an environment where you want to kind of achieve because you're smack bang here and there's no other way to do it. So it's, um, it's such an immersive course and such a personal course that I guess it does really help you build core, core strengths and competencies and also put you in touch with a lot of these companies. Um, you know, um, I guess it's also for a pharmacist, it's quite a big change, but I think it's a really nice one year uh, intensive, um, really, I guess it's a well run course, you get lots of good advice, um, they're always, basically you want to get employed after this course and they've really helped me, helped me achieve that. So this is the number one oval at Sydney University. I guess a big part of university is the extracurriculars and I think in Australia there's a really strong culture of sports, it builds camaraderie and it's just a lot of fun. Um, so and at Sydney I played um, three years of soccer for the team um, through my undergraduate um, and also especially in rugby, um, Sydney and Australia in general have a very big culture in it and the Sydney University team is actually top in New South Wales at the moment. 
Hi, so this is Wesley College and this is a residential college at the University of Sydney. Um, I actually spent three really good years here. Um, and basically it's a place where if you don't come from Sydney or even if you come from Sydney, you can live on campus and everything's fully catered. Um, there's lots of clubs and societies that you can join as well. And it's basically a really cool place to meet people and make friends that you have for life. And in fact, I've moved out with three of my best friends from that stage, from, from Wesley. So Wesley also has lots of kind of rooms um, set out around different parts of the, the campus. And essentially it's here to facilitate students and any tutorials at my house. So I tutor here as well as I tutor pharmacology and physiology here. So students here get free tutorials um, to make sure they get one step ahead of the game, I guess, academically. Um, also rooms like this are used for any sort of meetings, societies and clubs that might happen, or even network events. So Wesley has a mentoring program that pairs students up with people in, who've um, already graduated from here, or alumni, um, who have, I guess, excelled in their own field just to, again, help out. Yep, so on the side, um, while I study, um, I still practice as a pharmacist one or two days a week. Um, up here is basically where I work and um, yeah, I have a lot of regular patients that come in and I guess even though I'm studying business, I still really, really enjoy the healthcare side of my life. Um, um, especially my favourite part of practicing as a pharmacist is seeing those regular patients and really getting a sense that you can help them. I guess in Australia, um, pharmacy is basically the cornerstone of any community and Regardless of where I go in the future, um, I will always have a bit of a um, soft spot for healthcare and will always hopefully with any business come back and be able to help in that industry. I guess the biggest tip I have for people who want to come to Sydney and do this course is that you should always be looking to seek opportunities. Um, you know, with me as a pharmacist, a lot of people keyhole me into the healthcare kind of sector or in the industry. but. Through this course, I've just I've basically learned to branch out and learn all these different skills, um, and it puts me in touch with all these people who are with different backgrounds to me, and encourages collaboration. And now six months in, you know I've got a job lined up at a bank. I've looked at starting my own startups. I've just basically opened up my mind a little bit. And I guess just a really strong tip is your undergraduate is really really important. And if you have a good job that you enjoy from it awesome but if you ever do want change or you don't just upskill or just do something different I really recommend this kind of one year just really quick immersive course um, and especially because it puts you in touch with these people and all these connections that you can't really find otherwise. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about top universities around the world, click like and subscribe.